What's going on y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and uh, it's been a long time. This has been a long time. It's been a long time on KB's World point 2.0. Uh, 1.0 be doing real well. We got Montize over there. So, you know, thank you for all the support there with that. And then we got, uh, we got uh, Doc TV. Check that out if you haven't checked it out. Uh, mostly reactions. I'm trying to get some interviews on there, but um, it's gonna be a it's gonna be an issue now, you know, going on deployment and stuff. We'll see what we can do, but it's gonna eventually be that's the channel. It's gonna be there for that. But that's been doing well, what, real, real well, and um, can't talk. But it's been it's been going good. Now, what I want to come on here and talk about is a review for Dark Side of the Ring. I've been mean, um they, they they started the season three, so I'm kind of missing. Missing them? I, I think I've been catching most of them, but so I don't know if they actually put this out or did they, man? Let, let me know, man. The 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 the, the creators um, jump in my comments sometimes, man, and I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart, man. You know, um, dope, 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 dope dudes that came up with a dope idea, man, to do, and they just traveling and just you know exploring their passion and just. Interviewing people they can about certain stories, real wrestling heads and stuff like that, and and I would like to claim that I'm wrestling head, but I'm not. I'm, I'm really, I can't. I can't say I'm fully one because I, I, I'm not. I'm not. I recorded and we got too busy, and um, there was a gap. I want to say, not really like kind of toward the end of the Attitude Era, toward that time where WCW was like. Kind of like um, WCW, something separate, just by the way, so you don't come for me. But it was kind of like tailing off. I was kind of like lost, lost not lost interest, but uh, lost contact with wrestling because hey, I, I didn't have a spot um, like that to watch cable all the time. Couldn't record stuff, uh, wasn't streaming, wasn't digital. You can just watch it when you want to watch it. I was on deployments, underway, I was on the ship. Hey, man, Navy calls and they're still calling, so. Um, that's one of the things, but this one is about Dynamite Kid, man. This is definitely uh, season three, unless I'm mistaken, but I know I'm right. Um, season three, Dynamite Kid. What's good about this and the series is that I didn't know about people like Dynamite Kid and I think um, people of that nature. I knew people in his era, but I didn't know his whole story and stuff. So even if I did know about him, I didn't know his whole story. I heard the name all the time. I actually thought he was somebody in WCW, but he, he pretty much just brought bid his whole uh, little, you know, outfit. I, I think low key, let me know in the comments. Flame me if you want, but did did he bite? Not him. But did John Zena? We know John Zena bit the whole the throwback jersey. We know where he got all, all that from, but the, the jean shorts? And the knee pads and all that, you know, uh, pause. But did he did he get that from Dynamite Kid? But um, they did a good job on showing how <clears throat> a lot of wrestlers really just transitioned into um, the Dynamite Kid thing. Even even a wrestling piece on Heart, um, they they talked about a, a few different um, wrestlers that, that 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 took his kind of persona. And this dude was just reckless, man. Like the, the just, just the ones they had, the highlights they had, like, man, you, you, uh, what's, what's his name from AEW? Uh, 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 the bastard, uh, Pac. That dude, reckless abandoned, but, but I think he's, you know, nowadays you take care of your body, you're a little bit smarter. But, but this dude was just driven because he was smaller in stature, but just muscular, and then he could still fly. However, comma, you know, uh, no, it's not a however, comma. I'm just going to leave it at that. But that, the however, comma will be the injuries, like taking care of your body, like how LeBron does on. Um, 18 years in the league and stuff um, since high school, 36 years old, and he just 
he just saw he 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 contributes millions of dollars um, into his body a season on and especially in the off season and during the season take care of himself so he can he can play and be comfortable as he can. It's it's, it's it's one of them things, man. Like you just really have to take care of your body. But back then it's like I mean I'm just going full fledged. Shout out to him for that. And he should be respected for that. But you know, at the end of the day, you know, um, it was just sad to see how he ended up. Later on, in turn, he, he had injuries that just were bad, and he just kept going with it. And you, the documentary will spell it out. There's so many interesting facts. Uh, the rift between him and him and um, well, I remember as the Mountie, but it's uh, Rujo and wrestling guy in the in the in, in the industry for like 40 years. Um, he had a big rift with him and. That was interesting on how how they stuff ended up, man. Like, like it, 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 you you if you're into Dynamite Kid or you're into that little wrestling area back then, um, you need to look at it. It involved his family. Um, I, I one good thing was his kids was, was there for him. They felt they felt a good way, and his, and, and his wife at the time protected him as far as. Not not exposing like the stuff that they were going through to his, to their kids and all that type of stuff, but I came back in like kind of bitter later on. But um, I think I think I think I think they're good and I think they were able to close as many loose as you can close in that type of situation. But again, man, you know, um, I, I take I take pride, man. I ask my kids, they'd be like, oh, you know. Um, uh, you know, he he can do more for us. He was gone for this and that, and blah blah blah. But you know, I was, I was um, you know, uh, in, in the military doing that type of thing. But but kids don't care about that type of stuff. They don't. Um, you want to hear that? They want they want their dad. They want their mom. They want them there. They don't want any. You know, they don't they don't want the excuses or the the terms that come with it. You know, and and that's understandable. Uh, all I knew when I was a kid is this is where I live, this is where I'm at, and this is what's going on right now. Oh, between them two, and, and this was not going on, and this was going on. That was my life, and and I understand that when my kids say, "Oh, that's that's their life," you know, like like, hey, um, this this might happen, but I don't remember this. But at the same time, uh, you, you weren't. I know you weren't there for this, and you weren't there for that, and and now all that all that all of all that old sense. So I shouldn't. I know. The stuff that I am here for, and I, I, I thank God for it um, with my kids and the time that I get to spend because it, 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 it's not a lot and it gets taken away real quick. But I can understand um, their their story a little bit in, in, in a sense, but at the same time, um, it's way more complicated and it kind of spells it out in, in the documentary. Um, it's, I, I, I think they did a, they did a good job of spelling out pretty good because I, I don't I never seen anything on Dynamite Kids so um, yeah check it out again man big advocate you know shout out to uh, Dark Side of the Ring season three and that's the review y'all check it out and till next time man take care of each other see y'all later Lonely D Mac.